rivalry every year. Records don't matter in this game. The crowd was fired up. It was a whiteout that night. What an atmosphere. Yeah, there's a lot of pageantry in this rivalry and uh, a lot of great games and a lot of history with this. It's one of the best small college rivalries in the country. That's Caleb Skogan. Uh, he's in one of our new players this year. He's from Chattanooga, Tennessee, and a transfer from Mercer, uh, Mr. Basketball candidate. Uh, you know, we're fortunate to have him. There's big Nate Minoy, uh, who's a transfer from uh, Purdue University, and uh, you know, he's been a big inside addition for our club so far. And, and uh, you know, we've got we've got several new guys that we've we've tried to work into the. Uh, into the mix this year, and uh, you know it's been a little slower than I than I would have thought at times. But um, you know I think we're getting better as the season goes along. There's Big Harold Griffin uh, back for his third year as a Flame senior this year, and and uh, has had a good career and, and having a good year so far. And, and of course uh, Elmar Kulaze there with the drive and the miss. And you know one of our strengths this year is our rebounding. Uh, we're one of the top rebounding teams in the country, and it's really kind of our identity, and uh, you know we talk every every night out how we want to uh, really impose our will on the glass. And you know this year we're more of an inside-oriented team, and um, and so you know that's really been our strength. There's Joe Fulk, uh, who's, who's back for his second year here at Lee, and he's doing some good things for us. And you know Elmar Kulaze is one of the toughest guys. Uh, you know there. There's another new guy we have, Stephen McClellan, transfer from. UTC, who's a sophomore, Stephen uh, is um, from Dalton, Georgia. So we've got several local local kids this year, and, and um, you know Paco Dial back for his senior season, uh, transfer from Georgia Tech for us, and and uh, you know Paco's uh, had a great year last year and is off to a good start this year as well. Um, there's again Big Nate. We've got our big guys can really do a nice job passing the ball, and. Um, you can see just the pageantry and the environment there. It was a it was a great atmosphere. So the Flames pick up the win, 67-58, led by Nate Minoy with 15 points and eight rebounds, shooting five from ten from the field. Coach, that was the first game of the year, and uh, you know it's a good start. Tennessee Temple is always a tough team when they play here. Then you go and you play Freed Hardeman, but not just once. You play them twice within three days. That has to be tough. It, it was tough, you know, the schedule, uh, that was the only place we could put the games. And uh, I tell you, going and beating a Trans-South team twice, uh, th those were great wins for our, for our program. Let's take a look at the clips from the old Trans-South uh, rival Freed Hardeman University as they came to Cleveland. You know, we, we beat them by eight points at their place on a Saturday, and then we turn around and, and play them on a Monday. So, uh, you know, I felt like they probably had a little bit of an advantage mentally over us, uh, but you know, I thought our guys played hard, and it was almost like an NBA uh, playoff series in a sense, where you you know you had to make adjustments from from one game to the next, and um, you know they did a nice job changing some things up the way they they guarded us defensively. That's Josh Knopflett who made the pass to Caleb Skogan. Josh is a uh, uh, a junior for us from Winston Salem, New York, and uh, Winston Salem, North Carolina. Excuse me. He has some good athleticism, and uh, we're looking for big things from him in the future. Um, you know, again, we're an inside-oriented team, and, and one of the keys for us is is really pounding the ball inside and and and, and taking care of the basketball too. You know, we uh, like our women's team. We've had problem with problems with turnovers and one of the keys to us is is if we take care of the ball we feel like we can play with anybody and, and we've really got to do a better job of that this year. Uh, you know this year's team again is not quite as fast as last year's team but I think we're a better offensive rebounding team as you can see right there and, and that's what we really want to do is try to uh, beat teams on the glass and, and get half of our missed shots and you can see Nate this was one of Nate's better games. Uh, you know, he's very active, and, and Caleb Skogan's very good off the drive, too. He's one of the faster guys in the country, and, and uh, you know, we're expecting big things uh, from him over the next couple of years. How big is it for having Elmar Pulisade and uh, Caleb Skogan outside to open up the, the things for the big guys? Well, I, you know, I, I think, you know, Caleb's been hurt, and that's really hurt us over the last few, um, you know, for a few weeks, and we need him back. Well, free just wouldn't go away in this game. Went to overtime. That was a huge shot that they hit, and uh, you know I was really proud of our guys for figuring out a way to win this game. We hit some big shots, and 
Boy, Elmar Coulazade here in a second hits a huge one uh, to really win the game for us. And, uh, you know, Freed just wouldn't go away. And, you know, they've had some good wins in the Trans South already. And, you know, they're a good basketball team. But, you know, could be a national tournament team. Still, uh, you know, that'll be uh, determined here later. But, uh, you know, they just, it, it was a tough fought game. And there's a huge shot. You know, we're down two. And Elmar comes and pulls up the big three. And, and then, you know, last possession here. To, to seal the game, great basketball game. I think Elmar has ice cold water in his veins. He's just he just knocks them down the big shots all the time. The Flames win 74-71 in overtime, led by Nate Manoy with 23 points and 12 rebounds. Elmar Kulze with 20 points, five rebounds with that big three in overtime to really give the Flames the win. Coach, it's been a good season so far. Good start. You've played a really good schedule. Uh, went out to Oregon and played the number one D2 team. Played the number one team in the NAI D1 Mountain State here at home and uh, it just gets tougher as you go into conference play. I tell you our conference is really balanced this year and um, you know you can uh, anybody can beat anybody so there's a lot of tough games ahead of us and you know we've put ourselves in a position early on to uh, to make a run at it and uh, you know uh, tough week this week at Barry and playing shorter at home two of the better teams in our league and both well coached and, and so uh, you know it's it's a marathon, it's not a sprint, and uh, should be a fun ride. Yeah, it's how you finish, not where you start. So, Coach, Absolutely. you started well, and let's hope that the Flames finish well. Uh, next week we'll talk about that Barry and Shorter game, and we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back in just a few minutes. At Sky Ridge Medical Center, we believe every moment is important. That's why, whatever you encounter on the road of life, Sky Ridge Medical Center will be there for you and your family. You can count on our experienced, dedicated staff to provide quality health care and the advanced medical technology you need. So you don't miss one special moment. Sky Ridge Medical Center, your hospital for a lifetime. He never did tell me we might be alone. How did she always make it look so easy? Sometimes you just need someone to talk to. We offer support groups to help with grieving or just talking and sharing. These support groups are another of our commitments to you. At Jim Rush Funeral Homes, we believe life is worth remembering with compassion and respect. We will continue this tradition that has set us apart for so many years. Jim Rush Funeral Homes, it's all about life. North Okoy and Wildwood Chapels. Bain's Business Machines has been the number one distributor for quality office products in the Tennessee Valley since 1976. We have copiers, color copiers, cash registers, calculators, printers, faxes, and Latham time clocks. We also feature a full line of office furniture with desks, module panels, workstations, chairs, file cabinets, and much more. Come check out our new showroom at 770 Stewart Road with an even wider range of office equipment to help your business grow. Bain's Business Machines. Thanks for joining us this week. Next week, we're going to talk to Coach Henry Moyo of the men's soccer team as they won an ESSAC championship. We're also going to take a look at games at, at Barry and versus Shorter here at Walker Arena for the Lady Flames and Flames. We'll also take a look to that L.A. trip that the women's basketball team made earlier this year. For Coach Tommy Brown and Marty Rowe, I'm Jeff Salyer filling in for Randy Smith. So long, everybody. <laughs>